What's up everybody, Dennis Racing 35 here. This is going to be a remake of my most popular, least popular video. So that is the video with the most views that got the most thumbs down. <coughs> this is the Magnavox MDR513H, if I can, there you go. Um, it is a DVR that you can buy from Walmart, Amazon, eBay, whatever. And it is a DVR that you can get without um, subscribing to, like, TiVo, or I don't think you have to subscribe to TiVo anymore. But uh, TiVo, Comcast, um, Dish Network with the Hoppa, or uh, the Xfinity X1, Shitfinity, Giant Turd, whatever it is. That's for you, Xfinity. Um, Comcast, whatever, I hate them. They're like Hitler. They make us get Comcast where we are, and it sucks. Because I can't have a dish hanging off my porch because I'm on the second floor. I don't know why that's illegal, but some stupid fucking Massachusetts law. And it sucks because I'm like, you know, that far away from New Hampshire. <coughs> but anyways, um, <coughs> this retails, I believe I bought it for around $300. Um, I read reviews about it before I purchased it. It is a good device. It says what it does, or it does what it says. Um, it has uh, a 320 gigabyte hard drive. Um, it's internal. It is not removable. You can't upgrade it. Well, I've heard some people that upgraded it, but I'm not 100% certain how to do that or, you know, the process. Um, so if, if you're going to ask me that, I don't know. Um, look it up. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, the, uh, it's not HD, which also kind of sucks. Um, but it does have something called 1080p up conversion. I don't know exactly how that works, but um, some sort of, you know, computerized witchcraft that happens in there somewhere and uh, makes it makes it uh, HD, I guess. Um, it does kind of suck when I'm watching TV because it, the, the picture is kind of grainy, um, especially because I have a, you know, 32-inch TV, but... Basically, my setup is I have the coaxial cable right here that goes up to that guy right there, which is my cable box. Um, it goes out of that with the regular um, RCA cables, the, the red, um, yellow, and white cables. Um, and it's got these guys here, but it's got another one of these in the back. Um, and then it goes from this uh, to my TV via... HDMI. <coughs> uh, the front of this is very simple. It's got your power button. This is your eject load disc uh, button. And then this guy flips open. Um, I don't have any fingernails, so I don't even know I'm trying. But, um, anyways, uh, fuck it. Um, it's got the display here. It tells you uh, if it's on or whatever. Um, it's very simple, so it's it's only got like. Um, uh, you know, few characters and stuff like that. It's not any high tech, you know, mumbo jumbo crap. Um, it's got a button here for the hard drive, a button here for DVD, uh, your stop, play, record, and then your old school channel changing buttons. Uh, in the front here, it's got an S video in. Get this guy to focus. It's got an S video in. It's got your video left and right audio. Uh, those are the old school RCA. Um, technology has been around since like 98 earlier uh, and then it's got a DV in which is kind of cool it's like an Apple uh, thing I guess some camcorders have it um, I have a mini DV uh, camcorder um, here it is actually this is it right here it's old school um, it's a little beat up I used to put it on remote control cars um, but it works and then it's got that guy right there which matches oh I flipped it around already I'm a moron. But anyways, um, the back of this, <coughs> you have your power cable. Um, if I were to guess, I'd say it's about maybe two, two and a half yards long. Um, you have your fan to uh, keep things cool. Um, this guy does get a little hot. It's got an HDMI out, which is kind of weird because it's not HD. Um, I'm not sure if you put an HD DVD in here, if it works. It doesn't say it'll run HD DVDs, so I am not really sure. Um, you have your coaxial digital, digital audio output. Um, I'm not sure what that is for. 
um, you have an S video out. Um, again, kind of weird because you have your component video outs. Um, there's no HD in. There's only HD out. So you have your HDMI out, and then you have component out, which is weird. I don't know why or how or whatever. But anyways, um, here's the audio, uh, and then this is also video out. Um, you have your audio right here, and then that's video. You have an S video in, another S video in, and then this is your RCA in, and then your coaxial in and out. Um, like I said, my, my setup goes um, coaxial cable from the wall to the cable box, and then I have these guys going from the cable box to this, so it plugs into here. And then I just have a single wire, single HDMI port, or what well, cable going from here to uh, the back of my TV. My TV has two HDMI ports. <clears throat> my Xbox was hooked up to the other one. Um, the uh, cool things about this is that you can rewind and pause and all that crap, the TV. Um, again, it's it's in standard definition. It, it is not HD. I believe there are um, HD versions of this, but I'm not 100% certain if that is true. <coughs> um, um, like I said, it does have that deep, uh, 1080p up conversion. I don't know how that works, but it doesn't seem to work very well, um, like with TV. If, if I don't know if it's an option that you can turn on or off or anything. I mean, I've explored the, the menu fairly um, uh, extensively. This is the remote. Um, let me get it to focus. Um, you have all of your buttons. Um, it's fairly in-depth. Um, unfortunately, this is not like a universal remote. Um, it takes two AA batteries, um, and uh, it's not a <clears throat> universal remote, but I'm not really worried about it because I have this where I can control volume and, um, you know, television and all that stuff. Um, this itself does not have a program guide, uh, so you would have to uh, record manually. So, like, if you want something that you can, uh, you know, set and forget, um, then you're probably going to want to get something like TiVo or <coughs> something from a cable provider. Uh, because this does not have a, a program guide. Like, you can't hit menu, see what's on, like, oh, Mythbusters is on, record Mythbusters. Um, you have to physically use your remote to put it on Discovery Channel. And then use this remote and press record when Mythbusters is on, or set it to record in, you know, however many minutes or hours uh, Mythbusters is on, and leave it on Discovery Channel. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of a pain in that sense. <coughs> but other than that, for me, it's, you know, I, I don't really watch that many shows. Um, I just watch NASCAR, and... You know, I, I, I don't really watch much TV, honestly. I'm, I'm, I download my Top Gear episodes onto my computer and watch that, watch them on there, and then I have Netflix, so it's not a big deal. But when I'm watching NASCAR or something, that's a good thing to have. <clears throat> and then, you know, if I'm too lazy to pop the DVD into my computer or uh, my Xbox, then it's also cool. Um, this retails for $308 as of right now. Um... And let me wake my mouse up. Um, I'll tell you when right now is. Right now is 4.05 a.m. on Friday, December 6th, 2013. Um, there's only five left in stock, so if you want one, get it now. No, I'm kidding. Um, this is on Amazon. Um, there's a couple, um, like, on, on, there's a couple different versions um, that you can get from, you know, 200, 300 bucks. Um, and that's, that's all on, uh, like, th this, for some reason, it's a DVD recorder and a hi-fi VCR. Like, who the fuck uses a VCR anymore? <clears throat> Hello, it's 2013. But anyways, um, you know, if, if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to ask. Um, again, I'm not sure of a lot of things about it. Um, but if you would like to know, uh, you can, you know, Google search it. Um, I've had this for a little over two years now. And I really like it. Um, I think it is very good it does what it says um again any questions comments whatever um feel free to ask me and i will do my best to get back <laughs>